This is the second job uh, on uh, March the 7th, Monday, and it again is uh, replacing culverts underneath a highway for the county. And we're unloading an 8 foot by 100 foot long aqua dam. I stand corrected, this is an 8 foot by 88 feet long. The Aqua Dam floats. Floating it across. Now there's a little deep channel there, and they're not in it yet. So the one side's three and a half, and the other side's about uh, three feet deep. Good size for an aqua dam. Eight foot high, overkill, good deal. So we're unrolling it a couple feet. To go up the hill. And that's far enough, guys. Tell him to stop pulling. So he pulled that with a rope going up there to that excavator, our backhoe. And that's all we needed, but that rope saved our butt so we didn't have to do it by hand. Here we go, we're pumping water. We've got four pumps, two hoses on this side, two hoses on this side. We're just starting to pump. We've unrolled that much by hand. Less than one hour after arriving, we've got the aqua dam off the trailer, put in the water, floated over to the opposite bank, Unrolled so the aqua dam starts high up the bank. We've set up our four pumps and we're now pumping water. This is quite a little uh, marshland lake that drains through these culverts. And of course, they uh, want to protect the wetland so they don't want to drain the all of the water, that'd be a no. We're hooking a rope to the far side so we can pull that side and make our rounded corner. Yeah, please. That's helping the aqua dam unroll. Okay. Using the rope tied to the excavator.
grabbing the post. Making sure there's no barbed wire left in from a real old, old fence. No barbed wire. Good deal. That's it. Aquadam's unrolled to almost hitting the bank, and it's going to hit the bank in the next five, uh, three to five minutes. We're going to unload this other Aquadam off the trailer, and uh, it's an eight foot by 200 feet long. It goes on the other side of the road. Now the, this aqua dam is hitting the bank. It's made a complete seal between the bank on the far side and this bank. So this pool of water is isolated and it runs underneath the road and on out into that other big marshland, which is really cow pasture, but it's flooded. And this side always has water on it for some reason. And of course it's an aquatic environment and they have to protect it as part of their permit obligations. Which is putting in a coffer dam in uh, uh, waters uh, of the U.S. government. Which is all waters in the United States. Whoops, I just heard one pump die. Ran out of gas. Well, we just uh, took the pumps, two more pumps out of the bucket to get it down the bank. As they're setting that up here, we'll look at this dam. We have Two pumps going in this dam and filling up nicely. Now we're going to unload the remaining dam and put it in position so we can start the pumps on it.
leaving the Aqua Dam right here. We're going to start enrolling it from right here. Uh, we might move it over just a hair, and uh, then we're going to start unrolling it. It's going to plop down the hill. Okay. Unhooking the excavator. Now we're going to take the wrap off. and into the water, and I didn't get a picture of it. Now we're going to put the hoses into these fill tubes and start pumping. in the hose so they're stretching out the hoses so there's no twist we're putting the hoses in far enough so the ends of them go over the bank and then they won't pop out on us One and uh, three hoses on each side. Now we're going to put a uh, rope or twine around uh, the hoses and the uh, fill tubes here. This is where the aqua dam starts at, is from here, the outside material. This is what we consider fill tubes, simply there for convenience or to make a connection with another aqua dam. We'll be ready to pump in about five minutes. We're getting our six pumps going. Well, we've been pumping about, oh, 10 minutes. We're already uh, 15 feet from shore. See right down that rope, we are uh, pulling a corner here on this dam. We've got the water turned off on this side, and we got the water turned on that side. So thus, uh, the inside's turned off, the outside's going to pump the aqua dam around. And we have to work at this to, get, to make it happen. Got our turn, turn started. There we're starting our turn here. It's working its way around. We've got our first turn almost made. <laughs> We've got three ropes on it.
buy it by the pallet, maybe 36 rolls on a pallet, maybe um, six, seven pallets. Just this young man on the end of the rope, two down in the water, is unrolling this aqua dam. your back. I'm trying to use my legs, not my back. <laughs> now the secret here is we're going to hook this rope to the excavator, but we don't want to pull the outside edge in, so we can't do it too fast because there's no way to pull it back out. There's no way, we can pull it in, but there's no way to pull the aqua dam back out unless we go all the way to the other side of that field way over there, and we don't want to do that. So as slow as it goes. Pumps catch up. We're pulling this around the end of the aqua dam. So when it pulls, doesn't that go in the wrong way? It unrolls the log is what we want to do. So we're uh, going to wrap it around.
shut this camera off here so I can do a little maneuvering. We're trying to pull that so we can miss this stake over here. It's got bob wire on it. Should have been removed. Let's go get the other. Really, I got a sandbag right here. Well, we got the aqua dam and the half moon, and here it is uh, on this bank now. So uh, it's got to pump its way up. We've got another hour of filling, and then we'll be set to go for this end of the culvert. Now, as we're putting this aqua dam in, the aqua dam on the other side pumped all the way up and we've turned off the pumps, which are two pumps. So this one finished pumping up as we were installing the other aqua dam. The pumps have been turned off on this one for the last uh, half hour. So we've done two jobs today that equal a roughly 500 feet of eight foot high aqua dam. They'll have this dewatered by nightfall or first thing tomorrow morning they'll start. Back across the highway. This aqua dam was 190 feet long. So that's what it takes to make an arc. And we probably have uh, uh, 30 feet left on the roll. Now we have the excavator pulling on this corner with the bucket so that it, uh, we're going to help it up the hill just a little bit. There it is. We're just going to have the bucket uh, hold that log right there uh, with the rope around it. And we're going to take off all the other ropes, which there's two other ones at this point. Okay, we're done for the day. We've put in two aqua, uh, we've done two jobs, put in 500 feet of aqua dams. And we're done at this job. It's approximately 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So we've done a lot of work here, and uh, now the two projects were uh, within five miles from each other. Both projects were culvert replacements, and uh, they'll have this dewatered tomorrow. Everybody's headed for home. So uh, we've told them uh, about vandals, and uh, so they're gonna somebody's gonna stick around here to make sure nobody vandalizes the aqua dam. There we go. Okay, I'll be back to finish up this picture.